Okay, hey YouTube, I know it's kind of dark in here, so, um, yeah. Today is cloth diapering wash day, and I decided to make a quick video showing you how I do it now, because, um, our routine has changed a little bit since the last time I made a video, so I decided to go ahead and show you guys what we do differently. So, here's our diaper pail. It hasn't changed. It's full. needs washed. So, here we go. See you in a minute. Okay, so we're up in the laundry room. Still have the same washing machines, unfortunately. Washing with front loaders is so much more difficult than with a top loader, but what can you do? It's what we have. So, I'm just going to throw all these in here, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so um, the washer has the diapers in it. Oh. Okay, step one, what I do is I put our washing machine on a rinse and spin, cold water, but I put on the no spin cycle, and I push start. So what this is going to do, it's going to fill the washer up with water, and it's going to start, um, you know, the thing's going to start spinning around. So take forever. See, it's filling up with water, and after it's filled up with water, I'll go ahead and show you, like, the full time how I do this. I do this before each step. There's three steps that I do. So this time I'm going to actually show you, videotape the whole thing. The next two times I won't. So right now, the washer is filling with water. With cold water. Okay, now it's done filling up, and what it's going to do is it's just going to, um, it's, they're like rinsing now. What I let that do, I let that go around a couple times just to get the diapers nice and wet. I let it spin that way, and then they'll stop and spin the other way, or sometimes it spins the same way. This time it's going to spin the same way. Okay, and now I'm going to stop it. I'm going to manually cancel, cancel that. And the reason I did that is because I want more water in the washing machine. So it has all that water. And now I'm gonna next I'm gonna turn it to a normal cold wash. And then I'm gonna push start. What and before it starts, it's just gonna drain the extra water at the bottom of the, the washer. See you'll hear it draining that extra water. But all the diaper all the water that's in the diapers from being rinsed is still gonna be in there. So what that does is it adds a little bit extra water to the cycle. Not only does it have that extra water in the diapers, but because the diapers are heavier now because they are wet, the washing machine is going to add more water, which is super, super important when washing in a, with a front loader. So step one, I do a rinse, cancel, and then I do a regular wash, cold wash. And that's the first step. Okay, so uh, this is step number two. I went ahead and did the rinse <coughs> to get the diapers wet again, and then I canceled. I already showed you guys the process, so I figured you didn't want to watch it again. And now I'm going to put the detergent in. I use one tablespoon. I now use Rockin' Green. So I'm out of breath from, like, running up the stairs to the laundry room. Anyways, this is was designed specifically for cloth diapers, and it is just so amazing. It rinses out awesomely. It's just really, really great. And um, it comes in three different formulas, soft rock, classic rock, and hard rock. Soft rock is for soft water. Classic is for moderately normal water, and then um, hard rock is for hard water. And we have really hard water, so this works really great. Before, I was using... Um, uh, country say, but I was having to add Calgon to it, which is a water softener. But when I'm using Rock and Green Hard Rock, I don't have to add anything to it, which is really awesome. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put one tablespoon in here. Uh, my tablespoon is actually downstairs somewhere because I was stripping the diapers in the bathtub and it's downstairs. So now I'm using half a tablespoon so I'm going to have to put it in here twice. So there's a tablespoon of detergent in there. And this stuff is really amazing. And then I put it on a heavy hot wash. And I hit start, and there it goes. That's the second step. See you for step three later. Okay, actually, I lied. <laughs> There's actually one more thing that goes with this step. After the, the washer gets filled with water, I'm going to take this pitcher of water and I'm going to add it to the detergent dispenser to add a pitcher more of water so that the load has even more water in it. Because, as you all know, with a front loader, the key to washing diapers is to get as much water in the diapers and through the diapers as you can. That is one of, that's one of the main complications with using a front loader. So, as you can see, it's done filling up. They're starting to wash. So all I do is I pour, pull this out, and I just pour this right in, right in here. Alright, I'll see you for step three. Okay, last step, I went ahead and did the rinse and spin and I canceled it after it got filled with water. And now I'm just going to do another normal cold wash with no detergent. And that's the last step. Once it's done with this, they're ready to be hung up to dry. See you later.